This video is best viewed in full screen mode and on YouTube that's this icon right here. And if you have a high bandwidth connection it's best viewed in HD which can be selected by clicking on this icon here and selecting 720p. This video uh, is a general overview of using the judgment management system with multiple users uh, using the database at the same time. This is for someone who has a uh, small office setup, a network setup, and where multiple users can get uh, to the same executable on the same shared network drive. Uh, first thing you need to know is that uh, if you go over here into application license, it'll tell you what the maximum number of users that are uh, uh, able to log into the database are. Uh, when you download the uh, demo or when you're in the trial version mode you get uh, it starts out and allows you to get five users in there so you can uh, thoroughly test it in your small office if that is your situation uh, however when you go and to purchase the program uh, there is a fee uh, for each additional user that you uh, will have to take care of and uh, another thing to know is just uh, when you're using the program uh, you may from time to time get a message that comes up that says this record, a uh, particular record, is is locked and it's being edited by uh, another user. And that's because uh, the program does not allow two users to uh, edit the same record at the same time. Uh, so once one person starts to edit a record, uh, no one else can edit that record until they are done. Um, same thing goes with any of the lists, the action list, the judgment types list, any of those lists that you bring up, uh, you cannot edit that list if someone else is editing the list at the same time. And any of these messages that do come up along the way, uh, there's always a help link on there. So uh, if you just click on it, it'll uh, bring up a video and uh, give you a quick explanation about what is currently uh, going on. Uh, another thing I just want to emphasize is that if you're running uh, this program where you're going to have multiple users uh, using the database at the same time, uh, then you're going to have to run it on a network. And what you want to do is you want to install the program onto the uh, network server or on whatever PC has the shared hard drive. Uh, and then uh, you do not want to install the program onto all the other PCs in the office because if you do that everybody who gets an install will be running their own separate database. Um, once you've installed it onto the network PC then what you want to do is go to all the other PCs and um, create a shortcut to the location on the network where the executable is and then all they have to do is just uh, run that shortcut and they'll run the executable from the network and uh, that way everybody will be sharing the same information uh, versus having five different databases and if you need any help with that uh, there's an email address that will show up at the uh, end of this video uh, jms at judgmentmanagementsystem.info and uh, send me an email and I will uh, help you out with any technical stuff you need to know.